Mavavi V Editor. Trade you through over. Joe is JVC here, and today I'm gonna be guys telling you guys about why Mavavi View Editor is the best view editor when it comes to making videos easy and nice and simple and fast. I just want to say thank you to Mavavi for supporting this video. I'll link their socials down below, their YouTube channels, Instagram, whatever. I'll link their socials down below. If you feel like you want to use this video editor instead of using Adobe Premiere Pro or if you don't want to spend too much money just a video editor then this Mobavi video editor is for you As you can see my first video editor was Film 4 video editor movie maker This was my first ever video editor I was using That was before since I started YouTube like making my first Halfway 2 video on my learned PC this video editor was, wasn't too bad. In 2020, I started. I've been using this like a year and a half. Like in 2021, I stopped using it. But the reason why I stopped using it in 2021 because in a new update in this film 4, that you have to pay just to export 1080p to 4K. After when I stopped using film 4, I moved on to this video editor called Movie Maker Video Editor Pro. So this video editor was my second video editor I was using. This cost me only 12 quid or 13 quid. But the thing is, it's literally the worst video editor I've been using in my life for. I hate it. I would not recommend using it. This video editor is so slow. It's like laggy or it's the, the effects is not useful. Like for example, the, the, the exporting time is so slow. Like if you guys go to my YouTube channel called Call of Duty Mortal 2 Campaign, I exported that video from that video editor. Trust me, it took me five hours to export. It's like the entire evening it took me. When you put, just say when you put the effects in, it's gonna take even, even longer. Trust me, I don't want you guys using this, please. After when I stopped using it, or I was about to stop, I was thinking to myself, which video editor is so easy and much more faster that I want to use on my YouTube? That type of video editor on Steam, and this is the company I see. Mobile B Video Editor 23. This was my first ever Mobile B Video Editor I used. It was fucking worth it. When I use it, I'm like, holy shit. This is the best video editor. During that time I bought it, I encouraged my brother to get this one. He got the 2022 version, but he loved it. Oh my god. I was in love for this video editor. As you can see, I, I own two of the same company. I got the 2023 version. And I got the 24. When I got the 24 version, holy fuck, this is the best video editor. By the way, guys, before I carry on, uh, make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Trust me, in the future content, it's going to be worth it. So keep me peeled, it's going to be worth it. Trust me. All right, so here's the behind the scenes of how I edit my videos. But I'm going to explain what tools I like using and why I like it. So starting off with I'm going to put my spoiler, which is, I'm going to drag the little example of my galleries mod. You see, you can see my gap, uh, my video right here. I'm going to trim the unnecessary part. You split it, or you can play to it. You just cut it up right here. Then you delete it. Make sure you press the gap button. So if you, do, if you don't feel like sliding it to the corner, you can just click this button right here. It forces it to the left side. The first tool I like using which is the most important one for myself is the color adjustment as you can see you can see all of these are done for you as an example except these ones because these are my own ones and you can see you can change all the colors or brightness any bit your own choice which one's best for you for example if you're just say your video is too dark you can use shadows I'll give you an example of my gallery's one video. Right, as you can see, I just trimmed the unnecessary part, so not really, but I'm just giving you guys an example about everything in the future. The shadows is the most important one for my stuff. Just say the map is too dark, you might gonna need it. So if you put, if you increase the shadows, you can see that the brightness is increasing. Like you see, it's getting more and more increased. I recommend doing this if the map is too dark, if you can't see shit. Or you can use brightness, but don't do it too high. Otherwise, the screen will go like grayish. As you can see, I've made my own one. There's night vision, RTS, RTS night vision, RTSL or MOBB, and Grand Turismo 7. So basically, you can actually you can actually create your own adjustments and you can save it, so you don't have to do it afterwards. Instead of like doing manually all the time, it makes it more easier when you actually put it on 
As you can see, I'm going to give you guys an example. I said yes. So what it is that I made it, I wanted to make the colors similar to my monitor that I'm playing. So if I put RTS, which my own colors in, it's exactly this. I did it exactly the same color as my monitor. That's why if I undo it, you see the colors is average. Now the color is more improved. So you can see more blue sky, more greenish. That's why when I do Gary's my blues, I want my video to be stand out and make it more interesting when it comes to colors like this. Same goes to Grand Theft 7. Like I made my own one. I have a mode called racing, so it increases the lightness, the sharpness. But I'll skip the sharpness. As you can see, oh, I made it by a little bit increase. Last but not least, I put next GMO video in the future. I put an RTS night vision. So if I do this, you can see my colors is now increased. So I'm going to play this clip for you for a bit. I won't give you guys more spoilers. You see the colors You see that? So my favorite effect is sharp and low. So you can do high or low. I picked low. So if you pay attention to the screen while I just put my effect in it, you can see it's more sharpened. I like sharpening my own videos. I recommend doing it on 4K so it makes it more like your video will be more crispier, more interesting to your viewers, you know. I recommend not sharpening it if your video is like lower than um, roughly 40, 40p. Next bit is my favorite one is noise removal. So basically what it does is it actually removes the unwanted noise on your audio or your video but keeps your current audio quality. Good thing this map has environment noise. I recommend guys if you wear your headphones so you can hear this properly. I'm going to play with you guys for a bit. Hear this. As you can guys hear that, you can hear the, the little bird sounds. If you don't want to hear it, you can use noise removal, you can use AI or default. AI will do its best to remove all the unwanted noise, but try its best to keep your audio. But if it doesn't work for you, you can use default and you can adjust how much suppression you want to do. But I'm going to apply artificial intelligence. I right, once it's done, which only took me 10 seconds to wait, you can hear the difference of the background noise. Hopefully, if it removes the, the bird sounds, let's hear it. So it actually did actually remove the bird noise. I mean, I can barely hear it, but it's recommended doing it to be honest. But I used it when when I do a Gary's video, right? Like when it has like copyrighted music, I had to risk myself to use it because I don't want to get copyright claimed in my video. So I just do that if, I, if I'm unsure if the music has copyrighted. And also, if just say when you're on a voice chat and they have a bad mic or it has so much unwanted noise, this is recommended. Trust me, I did that. It actually removes all of it. Honestly, this is a game changer. All right, the next one is about YouTube Shorts. <laughs> so I'm going to give you guys one clip of my uh, Black Ops 6. So the main thing I actually like using is the vertical fill. So what it does is it adds the translucent of your video to fill the black bits. Behind my head, you see like 60 by 9 resolution. You can 6 by 9 and you can choose what you want it to be. Like I'm going to do story on TikTok or you can do shorts. So as, so as you can see that my screen of my video is now vertical ways. But it's taking the middle of the screen so i'm going to fix that how we do it is um i go to youtube i go to crop a lot of people do this so i made it like a square kind of shape and not too like a rectangle i put it in the center apply as you can see it's on the middle and then vertical fill it fills the black bits that's the most important one what I do is I add color because I hate when it, I don't really, I'm not keen on the color. So I just put RCS because it works well. Boom. Color looks nice now. Now check this out. I watched a kilo to my grid. Yeah, 
I won't be doing too much editing because that's just, that's just an easy tip for beginners. There's also some very cool tools you can use, like um, these all these translations. It's so sick though. You got a lot of them to choose from. They have sound effects too. They have a lot of sound effects. You can. They also have musics. You have musics built in. Don't worry, they're copyright free, so you can use them. If you see this effects store, it's because that I bought them as a DLC pack. So I got the good game DLC and the YouTube pack. All right, the next step, what is my favorite part of doing the Movavi video editor is when you export the video. So behind my head, you see export right here. You see my cursor behind my headphones. You best export, right? You can, there's also, there's many things to choose from. So you can sign into your, you can sign into YouTube, but I, it's optional, but I don't do that because when you export the video, you won't get the fully, you won't get the frames per second you want. But obviously the most common one is either MP4 or the GIF. So GIF, uh, it's like, you know, you know, GIF, you know, MP4 is the most common one to use. So basically you just name any title. I'm just going to call it G, G mod shit, <laughs> like that. Just name whatever you want. Be sure to, uh, save. Make sure you save it to your desktop. Don't save it on your USB or something like that. Cause sometimes USBs have limited amount of media. For example, just say if you example, if you have a, a USB and it tells you it's four gigabytes maximum, uh, I would recommend, I recommend it on a PC. My favorite part is when you go advanced, there's lots of to choose from. Like you got all of these qualities, 16 by three, four by three, and 69, 4.3, 1080p. But the coolest part is oh, how can I make 2K easy? It's customizable. Just do that and type. 2560 1440p. There you go. Well done. So the maximum resolution for this video editor is 4092, 4092. So it's like 4092 times 4092. Frame rate, it goes up to 8 all the way to 120 hertz. Amazing. 60 is the most common because that's what YouTube only supports. So hopefully it's in the future they support 120 hertz. Hopefully. Bit rate is the most important one. It's custom. You can type any number if you want. The higher it is, the higher quality it gets. So my video is like, I record it, is 75,000 bits. So I'm going to do 7,700, 7, 77,000. Because sometimes when you export, sometimes it can go lower bit rate than that sometimes. But if you do like a little bit higher, just a little bit higher, then the quality will be very like, same, same and identical to your video you want to finish. Audio sample rate. So basically what it is that it's like all your quality. So you put it to 48,000, it's like the highest quality. So you want it to really to be clearer, but the lower it is, your audio become like a low quality and it sounds like it's been suppressed too much. So you don't want that. 41, 44,100 or 48 is the most necessary ones, but I always put 48,000 because I'm about really to be clear. Oh, by the way, one more thing, one more thing that you really, really need to know optimize hd clips if you don't know what that means it means that during your video editor it will say optimizing files at the bottom of your screen so basically what it means that it's going to make your videos a bit lower quality but don't worry it's only for a preview so it helps your uh, performance just in case if you have a lower end pcs add logo logo is the most important one just say if you have a video that that is like a known commentary video i'm gonna give you guys a little tip so as you can see, I made my own watermark. That's my own self. It's my PFP, but I made it a watermark. So what I do is, so I recommend just adjusting it. Just put it in like a corner. Like right here, for example. You double click it. Or you can click this button here. And you can just adjust what you want. I recommend at least 25% opacity or 20% because it helps that the video that is actually your own the video so people don't use your video as a fake content so I recommend doing that if you don't want to get if you don't want people to steal your video oh yeah I forgot to tell you they have motion tracking motion track is a fun bit so just say if you want to track something that you want to follow make sure you move this box put it somewhere that moves right and then you can press quick precise or artificial intelligence I'll give you an example of my video. Let's park. The SCP is 
You see? <laughs> you can see it actually moves Helen Park's head. That's because I just did that because Helen Park's my favorite operator from Black Ops Cold War and I'm glad she's back in Black Ops 6. It's <laughs> cool, isn't it? And yeah, this is just my experience of the features and the things I enjoy using the Movavi video editor. I just want to say thank you to Movavi for supporting this video. And one more thing that I really wish. All right, so before I wrap this up, if you guys see me like on Twitter, like I'm just patiently waiting for 25 to release uh, on Steam. The automatic subtitle generation is the one thing I'm always waiting for. So I'm going to react to this for a bit. Uh, this credits to Mavavi and Arta who screened this video. So I'm going to react to this real quick and I might pause it. So generation. This tool is part of the latest update and it's a game changer for quick subtitle creation. But first, let's upload the video we'll be working with. Once that's done, head over to the tool. Pause there. You can see right there. And these three are so different. Like this is, look at how different the N25 is. Like, I heard that they made the feature that it improves the, the loading speed and the performance on this thing. Like, this could be a game changer for myself. Hold on. Toolbar and open the Titles tab. You'll see an option called Auto Subtitles. Go ahead and click on that. Here, you can choose how many lines you want per subtitle. I will go with one line for simplicity. Now select your clip on the timeline and hit Generate Auto Subtitles. And boom, the AI kicks in and creates subtitles for your video in seconds. Super cool, right? On the screen, you'll see no. two tabs, Phrases and Design. The Phrases tab is where you can edit the text yeah. if needed. Honestly, the AI does a pretty good job, but I still recommend reviewing the subtitles yourself. It's always a good idea to make manual tweaks so that the text accurately matches the spoken words. If there is a mistake in the speech, be sure to- Stop here. Yeah, like Arthur said that, it's always good to review it because sometimes if they'd say it wrong, it's good to edit it. But this is like the game changer of doing the subtitles. Like I always want to do it to my shorts because I speak sometimes a lot when it comes to this like that, you know? But it's a game changer, I swear to God. To fix it in the text, you might want to rephrase or shorten long sentences to make them easier to read. Remember, subtitles don't always have to be word for word transcription of your speech. For instance, filler words like um or uh don't need to be included. The goal is for viewers to quickly read and understand the subtitles while still keeping up with the video. And now it's your turn. Download the software using the link in the description and try out the auto subtitles feature for yourself. And by the way, you can get 30% off the new feature packed Mobavi Video Suite upgrade now and enjoy free access to 6,000 plus effects for one month. And we don't just like Arthur said, um, yeah, I just want to say thank you guys for watching this video and thank you to Mobavi, the actual company, for supporting my video right here. If you want to get this video editor, there's two ways you can get the video editor you can get it from the actual website, so you can pay it monthly or yearly for their 6,000 effects. You can try it for yourself. Trust me, I'm not lying, it's worth it. Or you can buy it on Steam, which is cheaper price. You will get less of the effects, but you do have to pay the rest of the effects from DLCs. So 2025 is out, you can try it out for yourself, but I'm patiently waiting for the Steam version so I can use it forever, you know. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next Gamma video. Take care, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.